Hi, this is Janae from the Itch to Stitch. In this video, I will share tips for aligning letters using our script fonts. If you've purchased a digitized embroidery font, then you already know that every single letter is its own embroidery design file. And so to create a name, you need to use embroidery editing software to merge those files together. For example, I'm using Embird here, and I've already done a little bit of pre-work um, you can see that on the side here, I have already merged in the eight letters that I need for Isabella, and I've rearranged their stitch order, so it is going to stitch from left to right once I'm through. Um, but when you merge individual letter designs, they come centered in your hoop, and you have to arrange their positions. So I'm just going to build this by placing my letters side by side, and I'm going to use this um, center line of my hoop kind of as my visual guide to get those letters positioned just the way I want. See that B probably needs to scoot over just a little bit. So I can pretty quickly line these up and then if I want it to be exact, um, Embird has a feature where if you select all the letters, I can use this button here which aligns my objects so I can choose uh, for vertical alignment, aligning the bottom of all eight of those designs. So if I click OK, Mathematically, they are lined up on the bottom, and if I like the spacing between the letters, then I can go ahead and click this button to join it all together. And now I can position this if I want to center it in my hoop, or if I'm going to merge it with an applique design, then I can move the word as a whole around. Okay, let me scoot that out of the way. How about another font like Corinthia? I mean, if I were to merge these together, you'll see I have all eight letters already arranged in stitch order, and same thing. I will just start aligning these, put the bottom of the letters together. Now the difference between this font and Cupid de Lock is that it's, this is intended to overlap. If you want it to be a script, you want those two overlapped, so I'll just tuck them in so that the letters slightly overlap, and then that will give it a finished look. The letters that don't have tails, like the B there, you would just put an adequate spacing. Same with the I, it's not going to technically connect. All right, so I've aligned their baselines, and once I have their positions just the way I want, I could use the align tool uh, to be specific, or um, scripts are, have a little bit more flexibility, but I could join those. Let me scoot that aside. All right, now let's move on to something like this font. This is Autumn. And if I start aligning the bottom of the letters for these, so I'll stick that there, stick the L here, you're going to start to notice a significant problem with this font. What is going on? If I start to overlap these, those aren't going to mesh well together at all. Let me finish getting these up here on the line. All right, that's not going to look good. Aligning the bottom of the design files for this particular font will not work. And that may seem a little tricky to you, and so what I want to do is share a quick tip. For a font like Cupid de Lac, for the most part, all the letters align on the baseline. The only thing you really have to think about are the letters like a letter G that descends below the baseline. So your G, J, P, Q, and Y. Most of those would probably need to shift down. Maybe sometimes a, a particular capital letter like a capital J. But for the most part, you can align the bottom of the letters just fine. But for some scripts like Autumn, if you start looking at the bottom of the letters, they are all over the place. In fact, some letters like a T that normally doesn't descend below the baseline it actually does. All right, so if we look here, if I were to draw in the baseline for each of these, you'll see that there are numerous letters that go below the baseline. Some of them, like this little, like the O, is actually intended to go above the baseline. So when you're back over here in your software, how do you determine letter placement? And I have a quick, easy trick, and that is to pay attention to where the letters end. Pay attention to their tails and align those instead. So I'm going to use, again, that center line of my hoop, and I'm going to line up the tails of these letters and then tuck it under. So line up that tail and tuck it under. And then 
my name will connect the way the original font artist intended. So now when I join that together, um, Isabella looks the way it's supposed to. So let me scoot all these back in. You can see a, a 3D map preview of how those letters should be positioned according to the original font artist. Now, if you're using our fonts in Brilliant software, uh, you know once you've installed the BX files, you can click A to create a lettering object. If you type Isabella and click set, and then let's go to that first font we worked with, Cupid de Lock. You'll see that we've already done the letter positioning so that they align on the baseline and are already evenly spread out. Uh, what if we go up to Corinthia? All right, again, you'll see that we've got that letter spacing already lined up for you, so those tails are there. The only thing you need to work on is the position between the letters, so it comes in where the letters are touching, but if you want them to overlap, you can adjust the space slider, or you may need to grab individual letters, and if you click on the pennant button, below, uh, the bottom pennant, and you can scoot that way. But what's even more impressive if you choose our autumn font we have already done the letter positioning for you so that all those tails are aligned with each other. Again all you have to do is um, adjust the spacing between the letters so they overlap just the way you want before you save and send to your machine. All right, so this technique of aligning the tails works for fonts like Autumn and Ballerina Script. Okay, you'll see that again when we mapped them, we've already got all those tails lined up for you. Let's see here. Letters Deuces is another one where you'll let me spread them out so you can see you want to align the tails of the letters. Magnolia Sky, and Starstruck. Okay, those are all um, fonts where you want to align the tails in order to achieve the original intended look of the artist. Now, after comparing how I merged them together in Embird and how quickly I'm creating text designs in Embrilliance, if you'd like to learn more about using Embrilliance and Express Mode for free, check out our blog. Thanks for watching. Please check out our other videos for more helpful tips.